Today I'm gonna to dive in into my planner and my bullet journal to show you what different page spreads I recommend using in order to make sure your 2020 gets off on the right foot. And so it's a plan with me video, but it's more so about specific spreads that I recommend you do in order to make sure that you're organized and ready to go in the new year. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with my digital bullet journal because I have like the individual page spreads in here rather than like the monthly planning that I have in my paper planner. Um, so this quote is actually from the book, The One Thing, which I'm really enjoying right now. And so he calls it the focusing question. So what's the one thing I can do such that by doing it, everything else will be easier or unnecessary. And so I just really like that. And I'm thinking about that a lot when I'm doing my spreads for 2020. Okay, so feel free to check out the book. I'll link it below. Um, there's some things to disagree with, but on the most part, I really like this particular question. So this is the cover of my notebook. And what I've done is I've actually included the individual ones at the beginning before my first section. Uh, just because again, these are just one page page spreads. So this template in particular is part of my planner inserts collection for grad students. And so I'll link that in the description box as well. Uh, basically it's 17 different inserts that you can use in a digital planner or that you can print out onto a paper planner. And so this one is just blank on the top as you can see. And so what I've done is I've actually made it my one thing page spread. And so for each one, let me just zoom in so you can see it more easily. Right, so I have, you know, my PhD, I'm finishing up this year, my business, so like my side hustle, my health, and then relationships. And then I have on the right hand side, the done column. And so for these, I basically have, like I said, my one goal in each area of my life. So my PhD, obviously my big goal for the year is to graduate. Um, and then the first step for that is finishing a full draft of my dissertation. And then as far as business goes, my main goal is to earn 1800 um, because that will cover the expenses of my blog and my domain names and my email system and all that kind of stuff. And so step one that I'm going to work on is affiliate marketing. I have a video next week about a productivity bundle that I'm a part of that my bullet journal course is included in. And so I'm an affiliate for them, of course. So I have that video next week. But basically, that's my step one for that. And then health, I had gained rather than the freshman 15, I've done the PhD 15. Uh, so I do plan on getting healthier as far as my nutrition and my fitness goes. And so I have the main goal here of the 15 pounds, though more important to me is getting into like the healthy eating habits and the fitness habits that will lead to that decrease in weight. And so step one for me here is daily exercise. I lead a very sedimentary life, so I'm going to really work on changing that in the new year. And then the last category is relationships, and I've covered that because that's pretty personal for me, but those are the four areas where I have one primary goal for the year. And so what I've done here is once I finish up each of these one goals, I can color in the corresponding column saying that it's done. And then I can go to my next one goal. If, for example, I graduate in May, then I can shift right into another goal academically and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's my one suggestion, right? The first one is to just figure out what's your one thing in various aspects of your life, or maybe just your, your one thing total. Just, you know, that again, if you do it, everything else becomes easier or unnecessary. Now my next page spread, again, one of my templates is the Healthy Life Goals Map template. And so for me, I filled it out with, you know, six areas. So fitness, nutrition, relationships, writing, and then mental health. And then again, my one thing here too. So fitness wise, like I said, daily exercise, and that's mainly pool, uh, walking, or dancing. And then nutrition, I'm gonna start with the goal of having a healthy lunch because that's where I struggle with the most. Uh, relationships again i'll write that in later on after i record this video writing i want to write five days a week um obviously weekdays and writing includes like researching and editing and revision and all that jazz as well and then mental health wise i want to keep up with my morning and evening routine 
Uh, my morning one has been going well, but evening I'm still struggling with. So I really think starting off and ending the day well can really help mentally. And again, my one thing that encompasses all these things is to plan every morning because I really see myself being the most productive um, and most on task if I plan out you know, what's happening today. So I have that as my main goal to help with my health overall. So what six areas of your life can really you work on and improve on this year? And then I have this blank spread. And so this was actually from my regular bullet journal. It's one of the 37 templates included in it. Um, so originally this was meant to be a month if you're teaching five days a week. But what I ended up doing is the page spread of 20 during 2020, right? So I don't know if you heard this page spread, but every year, so let's say 19 during 2019, you know, 18 during 2018. So basically these are just goals to have for the year. Um, and so I had this one here with a bit of washi I used and created myself. Um, basically I haven't finished yet. So if you have any ideas for me of what goals I should have during 2020, let me know. I still have three more to go. Uh, but I basically started with, you know, over here are my more academic goals. So obviously again, graduating and that's red because it's incredibly important for the year. Um, I want to have one publication come out this year you know, send in various articles and get at least two revise and resubmits. Um, since I'm graduating this year, find a job that I'm gonna really enjoy, get into an academic writing habit, and then actually spend some more time with my creative writing as well, uh, which has been a while since I've been able to do that. And then on the other side, I have again my side hustle, right? So create three products. Um, my stretch goal of a thousand YouTube subscribers. So if you're watching this, you're not subscribed and you like of, you know, learning about teaching tips and resources and grad school life, feel free to subscribe now. Um, and then email subscribers as well. And then again, my main thing is, you know, one video on YouTube each week and then one blog post every other week. And I do want to kind of revamp my website as well. Um, and then the bottom here are more personal stuff. So figure out an enjoyable fitness routine um, and take part in an athletic event. I want to do a solo trip at some point this year. Um, and then a riverboat cruise, I'm thinking will be my graduation gift, hopefully doing that with the family. And then I also want to join a community group because I can be pretty introverted and I want to open up and meet new people. So again, what major goals or small goals might you have for the year could be one of your page spreads as well. And then finally, this is just one of my templates from the planner collection. And so I plan on writing this letter. You know right so to december 2020 erica right so thinking forward into you know who i want to be at that point in time how i'm thinking of my year which can be a reminder you know of where i am today versus where i am next year now after that here's my first section of my planner uh or my bullet journal and so these are just specifically to grad school um, and so I have my semester overview, which is one of my planner inserts from the collection. And so very simple right now, I'm not teaching. All I'm doing is writing my dissertation and applying to jobs. So I have, you know, submitting my fourth chapter and my fifth chapter, and then obviously revising all the way up to my defense in May. So that's obviously very simple for me. Um, and then I have, you know, publications in progress. So I just wanted to create, have this chart with me. Um, so I already have one that I had to revise, you know, for later on in the year. And then I have another that I've just submitted and a third that I want to submit. It's due by the end of the month. So hopefully by the time you're watching this, I've already submitted this third one. But again, I think it's really helpful to have, you know, a list of what publications you've sent out, who you sent it to, when you sent it, and what kind of response you got from them. Okay. And then this one is a template from my regular bullet journal. And so basically my ideal week, right? So I had Monday through Friday, but then I just added Saturday and Sunday at the bottom here. Um, so, you know, what do I want to do? I'm a big batcher of work rather than a time blocker. And so my plan is to write, right? Dissertation wise, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then revise Thursday and Friday. And then as far as my side hustle goes, do my blog work on Wednesdays, that's every other week. And then my videos, um, you know, recording, editing, that kind of stuff on Thursday, uh, sorry, on Saturday. So what's your ideal week? I really suggest writing that down and looking at it again and again, and you might have to revise it, 
but I think it's good to see something solid, you know, in your eyesight. And finally, I have this one, which is just a fun one that I added in to do some coloring, you know, when I need a break. So this is just a mandala that I got from Boho Berry, you know, for free. And so, you know, here are some spread ideas that you might want to try yourself in your physical or digital planner or bullet journal. Uh, if you liked these inserts and you want to see about using them yourself, then I recommend checking out my links below in the description box. Um, and just figuring out, you know, what works best for you. And so I'm keeping it here because my planning as far as daily tasks goes hasn't changed in my physical planner. Let me move that this way, All right? So I'm still using my paper planner to plan out each month. Um, and so, you know, as you can see here, January, right? It's just around the corner, which I'm looking forward to. I did print out a few of my inserts as well because I made them easy to print out for paper wise so I have as you can see here my degree audit because I'll be graduating this year so that was nice to get a hold of but other than that my physical planning hasn't changed so I'm not gonna go around and do you know this one I'll just fill it out on my own you know soon enough so but as a thank you for making it to all the way to the end of the video and to make sure that you stay on track too, I am doing a small giveaway. Let me close this up. So since I love my happy planner and my discount system, I'm giving away this case of 60 uh, dated and timed inserts. And so this is for the large size here, right? Regular size paper. Um, I'm more of a batcher than a time blocker, so I don't tend to use these numbers, um, so I don't need this really. And so I thought, you know, why don't I share with, you know, people who might really like using this kind of system in their planning. And so you don't have to subscribe or anything like that to my channel. I only want you subscribing if you want to be here and, you know, watch my videos on teaching tips and such. Um, so really all you have to do in order to enter the giveaway, and it's US only, unfortunately, uh, but to enter, just comment below and tell me, you know, which spread are you definitely going to be using in your planner or bullet journal in 2020. So it can be one of the ones I showed you in my bullet journal or it can be one that you designed yourself. I'd love to have new ideas for my own planners as well. Okay, so one comment only. What insert do you want to use or display do you want to use in your planner? Let me know and I'll let you know tomorrow who the winner is of the giveaway, and I'll get your information so I can mail it to you. Okay, so again, US only, but I hope you enjoy it, whoever ends up winning it. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, um, and I'll see you next week where I'm gonna talk more about productivity tips and advice that I have for you in connection, especially to the Ultimate Bundle, the productivity bundle that's coming out on sale at the beginning of January because my customizable bullet journal course is actually in included in this year's bundle. So you can get it along with 72 other resources and tools for productivity for a great price. So be on the lookout for that next week.